Sean O'Malley has a good business and marketing sense. He sees influencer boxing being popular and he wants to replicate that same thing in MMA. All right, boys, SSFC, Sugar Show Fighting Championships. We're starting it, we're doing it this year. I'm looking for influencers with little to no experience. The goal is to have these influencers have a full, like a, give them a date, have them think about that date, have a full fight experience the whole day. That, that, that emotions you feel leading up to a fight. I don't want anyone to get hurt. I don't want anyone to get knocked out. I want them to just experience a fight. Three two minute rounds. You know, we can come to agreement whether it's boxing, MMA, kickboxing. I want it to be safe. I don't want anyone to get hurt. I just want them to experience that feeling of a fight, the walkout. I'll have the fight later in the afternoon. So you wake up and you're thinking about that fight all day. I want these influencers to really experience that. I think it'd be badass. It'll be fun. Uh, I'm looking to match up people with little to no experience. Sarah Safari versus who? You guys tell me. Start dropping ideas. Sketch, Aiden, Steiny, Kyle, Nell. Like, just it'd be fun to get these guys that emotion, make them feel what it feels like. Three two-minute rounds, just long enough to get your heart rate up real high to really feel it, uh, but not too long. Six minutes. Come on, three times two. I'm off the oxy, and I can still do math. But uh, that's what I'm thinking. The SSFC, doing a, a small event, maybe four or five people to start it off, see how it does. But really, the goal is just to have these influencers feel what it feels like to get in a fight and uh, so drop some names on some influencers you guys would like to see fight boxing MMA kickboxing we could you know play around with the rules I even got bleachers check it pit peek pit peek real quick I even got bleachers I'm ready for this hit. SSFC it's going down first event this year I'm off the oxy I'm making all this shit up as I go let's get it Kevin Holland and Joaquin Buckley were able to coexist in the fighter hotel without getting into a fight Buckley told Holland that he's going to be immediately shooting for a takedown on Wonder Boy. That probably would have been a smart strategy for Kevin Holland to employ against Wonderboy 2, but credit to him, he decided to slug it out and provided us with a very entertaining fight with Wonderboy. He lost, but in a very entertaining way. One championship show on November 8th is moving from Atlanta, Georgia back to Thailand. They have to do a certain amount of shows in Thailand, so this one's going to be at the Lumpany Stadium in Bangkok. Carlos Prata says he will be fighting Randy Brown, but it's not going to be a UFC 309, it's going to be a UFC 310, so that is December 7th in Las Vegas. With all the talk, Conor McGregor wanted to box Terrence Crawford for $100 million and then doing an MMA fight for $100 million. Nate Diaz has inserted himself also into that conversation. I box Crawford and then fight Conor next, 168, let's go, I'll fuck you up, bitch. Bilal well, Muhammad going to be in the corner of Juliana Pena. He feels that will help her become a new and once again champion in the women's bantamweight division. Mitch Ramirez was supposed to be on the card this weekend, but he's been battling a heart condition for four years. It's made it very difficult to train and compete at a high level. Cardio has been unreliable and no way to improve it. I refused to quit and did my best regardless. Poker face on, I pushed myself to the limit and done everything in my power to stay on track. Things have progressed though and it's time to fix it now. I had to tell the USC a few months ago and I was terrified. Works so hard to get here and I'm not done yet. Thankfully, they have been incredible and facilitated the whole process of me getting healthy again. I can't say thank you enough to everyone at the PI that has had my back this year. Grateful for all of you. Nina Drama went off on the MMA Guru and MMA Guru is excited about that. More material for him and more attention for him. If you shoot for the king, you better not fucking miss. Lovely t-shirts, lovely t-shirts, look at the back. And MMA Digest on scene at Unified MMA 59. You can watch the entire event on USC Fight Pass.